everyone. Thank you for tuning in again into my channel. Thank you for taking time to invest in yourself today. Now, today's topic we will be talking about will be five lessons I've learned as an entrepreneur. Now, for those who do not know me, as you can see from this beautiful background, this shop that I'm in, all right, this is actually an online shoe business that I'm running together with my partner. So uh, after uh, many years of us working hard, finally we have a physical store. So if you can see from this background, uh, this is the store that I am recording. Okay, I'm recording this video in my physical store. All right, so not only that, I am a trainer as well. I run various trainings all around Singapore. So there's many platforms, many roles that I'm, I'm taking on. Okay, but today will be about five lessons I've learned as an entrepreneur. Now, here comes lesson number one. Do not wait for the right time to start. There isn't a right moment. There isn't a perfect moment. And who to say? that it is the wrong moment, wrong time anyway. All right, so do not wait for the right time to start your business. If you are waiting for the weather to, weather to turn better, if you are waiting, to, uh, waiting for the economy to get better, guess what? Everything will be moving so fast, you will not find a suitable time. If you are waiting, oh, um, currently you are too busy, uh, you are going to wait until you are more free to start your business. <gasps> Guess what? We will not be more free. We will always get busier and busier and busier because of the commitments that we have. Okay, so for those who are waiting to, to start your business at the right time, this is the news, okay? There is no such thing as right time. Now, when we first started this shoe business, okay, I was uh, doing other things as well. Same thing, I only had 24 hours in my life, okay? But I managed to prioritize a little bit of my time every day to work on this business. Now, if you do not know me, I actually studied music when I was in Singapore Polytechnic. Okay, I'm a music student. So when I went on to do my degree studies, I did a communication studies. Nothing about business. Nothing at all. And when I first start when I first started the business, that was when I learned how to make a purchase order. What is a purchase order? What is an invoice? Ah, and through my business, I am constantly learning. So if you think that you are not equipped, you are not skilled to start your business, guess what? If you start it, you will keep learning, you will keep growing along the way. So do not wait until you are all equipped, all ready to start because the time will not come. All right, and here comes lesson number two is to start a business while having an additional income along the way. For example, previously when I first started this business together with my partner, I was a trainer as well. So I, I did the various trainings all around Singapore. So I was able to have uh, this uh, side income as a trainer to support my financial commitment. So if you are single and available, not much commitment, you think that you are going to quit your job and start a business, by all means, because I have met successful people who really quit their day job and embark on their business straight away. All right, But I am not such a huge risk taker. So if you are like me, uh, you want to play it a little bit safe, uh, but you still hope to have a business running, but you think that you can't quit your job yet, guess what? This is the time to start it. Even if you have a full-time job, everyone has 24 hours. So it's up to you to set aside a little bit of time every day to work on your business. Lesson number three is to start doing everything by yourself. So for example, back then when we were running the operations, the marketing, me and my partner was doing the job. So for example, yeah, you can see I'm selling shoes. So when my customers is not able to uh, fit into the shoes, we go down to exchange it. When my customers uh, put an order into my system, we are the one who pack it and ship it out. We are the one who quality check every pair of shoes. We are the one who send out every 
EDM, we are the one who take the photos. Now, we started off doing by ourselves. Because today, we want to be effective leaders. Now, as leaders, we make sure that eh, we know every part of the business really well before we engage people to assist us. Uh, we, do not, we do not want to be bosses today because bosses will be, oh, I do not know how to do this. I do not know how to solve this problem. I'm going to hire someone to solve my problem. Don't come to me with your problem because I hire you to solve my problem. No, today we do not want to be bosses. We want to be effective leaders. So as effective leaders, we do everything. We make sure we oversee everything. We know every single step of the way. So that is lesson three that I've learned ever since I started a business, ever since I became an entrepreneur. Lesson number four is to know that your sacrifices made will be paid off eventually. Very important, when you first started your business, you will be required to sacrifice a few things. For example, your time with your friends, maybe on Friday night, Saturday night, you may not be able to have the luxury to go out party as, as compared to the past, or you may not have uh, much time to hit the cinema, check out your favorite movies, the latest uh, box office movies, all right? But these sacrifices that you made will be paid off eventually. So we still remember that back then in the past, when uh, during the huge seasons like Christmas and Chinese New Year, when everyone is busy buying their gifts, busy attending gatherings, we sacrifice our seasons, our holidays to pack the orders and make sure my customers get their shoes on time. So all these sacrifices made, it's paid off. Look at the beautiful shop that I'm in. Ah! Alright, so remember that sacrifices made for your business is not a permanent thing. Okay, it's not a permanent thing that you are going to lose your holidays for your entire life. It's only for this season. So, if you love to have your business picking up really fast, sacrifices need to be made. That's very important. And lastly, for lesson number five, this is very important for me, is to know where to draw a line for my work, for my family, and play time as well. As you know that I have other commitments such as my family commitments, and I know that whenever, for example, in my work day, I start work at maybe 9 a.m. and I end work by 5. By 5, I need to be home to get ready the meals for my family. I need to pick my son up from school. I need to make sure that his dinner is all prepared. His, uh, and I need to make sure that I clean him, I wash him, I read to him. All the way, I put him to bed all the way until 10 p.m. So, there's, let me share with you. There's tons of things to do in the business. As you run a business, there's ton of things to do. But work will never be done. You will never be done as long as you are progressing, as long as you are growing. Okay? Even if you are growing really slowly and steadily, that's great. That's good enough. Okay? So, if you are stressing over yourself, oh, it's 5 p.m., I need to go back to uh, spend time with my family, but I'm not done with this, 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 this. Should I cancel my appointment with my family or friends? Should I sacrifice family time and maybe just reply a few urgent emails just for today? Guess what? It's all not worth it. Because end up you will feel so cranky, you will feel, oh, I put in so much for my business, why isn't it growing? Uh, why my business is not growing and I'm still sacrificing the family time, you will, you will get really stressed up and this is not what you want. This is not what I want for you as well. So very important is to draw a line between family, work and play. If you do not know, I'm running this business together with my sister-in-law. So at times when I see her at family occasions, family events, at times I will still I will still talk to her about work. That is something that I'm still learning. I try not to because when it's, when it's time to spend time with the family, you don't talk about work. It's really sad. Okay, so that's, that's something that I'm learning. All right, so here are five lessons that I've learned and I hope that with this video, it will be able to kickstart, to start your motto, your gear, to start a business of your own dreams, of your own goals. 
Remember, I am cheering you on and if I can do it, you can do it as well. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.